Today, um, let us read the book of Mark, chapter 5. Book of Mark, chapter 5, verse from 1. So I read. <clears throat> they came to the other side of the sea, to the con country of the uh, Gerasenes. And when Jesus had uh, had stepped out of the boat, immediately there met him out of the tomb a man with an unclean spirit. He lived among the tombs, and no one could bind him anymore, not even with a chain, for he had often been bound with shackles, shackles and chains, but wrenched the chains apart, and he broke the shackles in pieces. No one had the strength to subdue him. Night and day among the tomb and on the mountains, he was always crying out and cutting himself with stones. And when he saw Jesus from afar, he ran and fell down before him. And crying out with a loud voice, he said, What have you to do with me, Jesus, son of the most high God? I adjure you, by God, do not torture me. Verse 8, For he was saying to him, Come out of the man, you unclean spirit. And Jesus asked him, What is your name? He replied, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he begged him earnestly not to send them out of the country. Verse 11, now a great herd of pigs were, was feeding there on the hillside, and they begged him, saying, Send us to the pigs, let us enter them. Verse 13, so he gave them permission, and the unclean spirits came out and entered the pigs, and the herds, herd, numbering about 2,000, rushed down the steep bank into the sea and drowned in the sea. Mm. Amen. Yeah. So here then, uh, this scene is when Jesus healed a demon-possessed person. He chased away the demon inside of a person. Mm. So the same story is coming out in Matthew chapter 8. Yeah, but then today we here then it is more uh, explain more detail, so we want to read this part. And so um, Jesus went to the other side of the sea, uh, and then uh, there then there was a, a demon possessed man, and then he was living. Uh, it maybe he was living among the tombs. You know? And then he was a so powerful person. <laughs> Actually, he, he had that great strength. But then later we can see that this person become so quiet and then he becomes so, yeah, so good later. <laughs> but then the demon, when the demon entered the person, then he became so like violent and then powerful. No one could control it control that person. You know, when uh, when we pray, uh, we need to know that we even we can um, chase away demons. Okay. So the people who are praying, even they can uh, chase out uh, the demons. Not only the people of prayer, uh, maybe the believers, yeah, 
all the believers who know the word of God, who believe in God, they can chase out demons in the name of Jesus. So we should not look at this uh, as a long time ago story, and then we just uh, think that ah, Jesus only can do this, you know. But then we need to open our eyes uh, when we look at um, when we look at it differently. We are the ones who also can um, chase out many evil spirits. Okay? So when we look at this culture nowadays, uh, it leads so many people to the wrong way, right? Especially to the young people. Yeah. Sin is overpowering the people. Mm. Uh, so they follow the sin. Uh, they, they, fo they follow the dark spirit without knowing whether where this this power is coming from but they are just like drawn by this evil spirit so they, they are really go, they are going astray yeah, to the wrong ways so it's very sad and then when we look at the people who are really strange and uh, or sinful then Normally, they are possessed by the demon. It's not only really strange person, mad person, but then many people, they are uh, somehow possessed by the evil spirit. When we have sins inside of us, evil spirit just enter to us, uh, related to that sin. You know? So the darkened power is uh, entering us, and then continually leading us to continue the sins. So this is the image of this person. This person was possessed by a lot of evil spirits. When we look at uh, here, then it entered later to the 2,000 pigs, right? The pigs number is like 2,000. And then the name of the evil spirit is uh, legion. What is the meaning of legion? It is a lot, you know, in the number. Yeah. Legion meaning is a lot, uh, many, many uh, in number. Yeah. So they entered to the 2,000 pigs. It means more than 2,000 <gasps> evil spirit entered to that one person. So it's very sad, right? Uh, even though God created us very beautifully, yeah, but then in this world, the evil spirit is really over, overpowering yeah, through the culture uh, or many sinful desire, then it enters to many people's life. Yeah. So sometimes that power is so big, so great. Yeah. It's walking through our sin. So it, the power, when it's possessing the person, then it's so powerful. So the people cannot control that kind of person. So, but then here, then uh, Jesus met this demon-possessed person, and then something strange happened. <laughs> so let us read um, Mm. Verse 6. And when he saw Jesus from afar, he ran and fell down before him. Yeah. So this demon possessed person, when he could see Jesus yeah, coming out from the boat, then he could recognize that Jesus is the Son of God. So that he ran and he fell down before him. So it's very strange, right? This demon possessed person ran and then fell down. So he looked to be very humble, but then it's not very like uh, humble, but then let us look at verse seven. And crying out with a loud voice, he said, what have you to do with me, Jesus, 
son of the most high God. Yeah. So he cried out with a loud voice. I adjure you by God, do not torture me. Yeah. So, ah, like um, in the name of God, please don't torture me. Please don't punish me. So please, so he's asking with a loud voice. Yeah. So here then, maybe we can find that this man or the demon inside of the man was afraid. So he was crying out, why did you come, you know? Please don't torture me, please, you know, son of God. So when Jesus, uh, uh, when this, this man looked at the son of God, Jesus, then he was so scared. You know, demon really scared the son of God. Demon is really afraid. Uh, so demon possessed people, they don't want to come to church. Uh, when we talk about Jesus, they don't want to listen. Yeah. So they are afraid the name of Jesus. Yeah. So when Jesus was shown to him, then he is the one who first <laughs> came, came to Jesus and then he was crying out, why did you come and then, can you please uh, not torture me? Yeah. So uh, we can learn from here that uh, the demon really afraid of, uh, is afraid of uh, the Son of God. Yeah. So he said that, <clears throat> yeah, verse seven, 7, he said that, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of, God, Son of the Most High God? I adjure you by God, do not torture me. Yeah. So, yeah, demon was tortured by the Son of God. He is really bothered by the Son of God, right? So we need to know who is bothered, who should be bothered. Yeah. It is not we who are the children of God should be bothered by demon. No. When we are going to somewhere, the one who, who should be afraid is not us, but it is the devil, you know. We should not be afraid of the evil spirit. Yeah. When you have this faith that we are the children of God, you know, we are we are given the authority uh, by God, right? So we need to know our identity and what kind of power and authority we received. We are the children of God. Then we should not be afraid of the demon, but the demon should be afraid of us. Yeah. I know you are the son of the Most High, and please don't torture me. This is the uh, the confession of demon. This is the right way. So sometimes we are so afraid of like evil power, evil spirit. But then if we are standing firmly before God, then we don't need to be afraid. Yeah. When the simple power uh, the devil, uh, the power of the devil approach us, we can command to go away, go out uh, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. This is the power we have given. Uh, we, we received from God. So let us read the book of John, chapter 1. Verse 12, but to all who did receive him, who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Yeah, he gave the right, yeah, right to, the, to become the children of God. Yeah. So if we believe in the name of Jesus, when we, when we receive Jesus. Yeah. So faith is like uh, acception, you know, or reception. Yeah. 
So when we believe in Jesus, when we receive Jesus in our heart, believing that Jesus, He is uh, my Lord, my Savior, He died for my sin. When we receive this love, love of Jesus in our heart, when we believe it firmly, then God gives us the right, right to become children of God. We are the sons and daughters of God and co-heir with Jesus, right? We know Romans chapter 8. We are the adopted children. We are the co-heir with Jesus. We are the children of God. So God gave us the authority as children. So this power and right, it is not something small. We should not ignore or we should not forget. So when we feel that we are weak or we are afraid of some powers of the evil things in this world, then we need to chase them away in the name of Jesus. When Jesus, yeah, Jesus said that in John chapter 15, let us read John chapter 15. Verse 7. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. Yeah. So, Jesus yeah, give us this promise. When you are united with me, if you are remaining in me, in my love, and if my word is in you, then ask whatever you want, then it will be done for you. All our prayer will be answered. This is the right, this is the power God gave us. When we believe in Jesus, when we pray, then God is answering. God is our Father. So this is the authority God gave us. So when the devil looked at Jesus and they were afraid, so afraid. Why? Because they don't have their right. Actually, they are not the owner of this world. Yeah. Devil, devil was like, just like thieves. Yeah. Devil is not the owner of the house, but then it is like a thief. So they entered slightly, but then they are not the like uh, authority, they don't have the authority to op to like rule over this world. But then they are controlling this world as if they are the owner of this world. But then they don't have right. So when the true children of God comes out, then they are afraid. They are afraid. Why did you come? <laughs> they are so afraid because they will be take their position will be taken away. Yeah. Why did you come? Please don't torture us. Don't punish us. I will go out. I will go away. Please don't punish us. So that's how they were asking Jesus. Please, please um, help. Uh, please allow us to be in this region, in this country. Uh, so they asked. They begged him, yeah, not to send them out of the country. So they asked that, ah, can we enter that pigs? We want to enter the pigs, you know. So Satan is like that, like pigs, very dirty, dirty spirit. Yeah. So it's like the pigs. So we need to command you evil spirit in the name of Jesus, go away. You dirty spirit, go away, you know. So when we look at here, then actually evil spirit entered a person's body, actually. But then how God created man? God created the spirit inside of the body, right? So we are the owner of our body. Only we are the owner of our body. One spirit can enter one body. That is the God's law of creation. But then evil spirit tried to enter the body. Uh, 
uh, without permission. So we can, um, we can demand, we can, uh, we can claim our right. When the evil spirit approach us, we can just uh, demand, like, um, we can just order, we can command the evil spirit, you are not the owner of me, my body, so you go away. We can just simply command them. Yeah. And then with, in the name of Jesus, we can just uh, like say to the evil spirit, when the evil spirit is approaching us, it can enter us very easily. Yeah. When we live in this world, in this sinful world where there, there is a lot of evil spirit, then when, when they are approaching, we can just command, you are not the owner of my body, you just go away. And then I heard that the very, very like uh, scary word to the evil spirit is, I will send you to the, uh, the fire of hell, yeah, something like that. Because it is their destiny, so they are afraid to be sent to there. So if you do, don't go away, I will send you to the fire of the hell. So go away quickly. Then this this spirit, you know, can go away. So we need to demand them. We need to command them. You are not the you are not the owner of my body. Yeah. And then even we can also chase away the demon from other people. You are not the owner of this this person. Yeah. He's the He's a child of God, go away. Yeah. With this command, then devil will be afraid and they will leave. Yeah. So God gave us this precious, uh, precious power. Uh, and then also to the, to the precious children of God, devil even is trying to overpowering. So we need to command them. Yeah. You are not the you are not the owner, and then you don't have any right, so go away from this person. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So we can, yeah, we can simply, we can chase away the devils. Yeah. So this world, it should be the God's beautiful world, God's beautiful garden. But then Satan, he entered without permission, without like that authority, and then overpowering in this world. So the people who know the word of God, who believe in Jesus, should work for this. Yeah. We should chase away the evil spirit from this world. Yeah. This is our right. Yeah. And then also, it can be our duty yeah, in this world. So let us read a little more, verse 14. The hard man, the hard man fled and told it in the city and in the country. And people came to see what it, what it was that had happened. And they came to Jesus and saw the demon-possessed man the one who had had the legion sitting there, clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. Yeah. They could see this demon possessed person, the previous demon possessed person, now sitting very quietly. And then, oh, yeah, with the cloth. Yeah, before then, he was hurting himself, and then he didn't wear the cloth. Yeah. But then now he's sitting well. Uh, so this is how people are suffering uh, with the evil spirit. Yeah. It's not that all the people are violent and then they want to like disobey God, but then many are like because of the evil spirit and then which was caused by the, their sins. Yeah. Then they were overpowered. Yeah. So that they couldn't really obey God, they couldn't really yeah, live well. But then now when the devil left, then he became his right mind. And then uh, he was sitting there. Yeah. 
So Jesus did this beautiful work, yeah, chasing away the evil spirit, the dirty spirit, yeah, verse 16. And those who had seen it described to them, to, uh, to them what had happened to the demon-possessed man and to the pigs. Verse 17, and they began to beg Jesus to depart from their region. Yeah. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed with the demons begged him that he might be with him. And he did not permit him, but said to him, Go home to your friends and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and how he has had mercy on you. And he went away and began to proclaim in the uh, Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him. And everyone marveled. Okay. So actually when the people heard these great things which Jesus did to this demon-possessed person, they were afraid. And then they said, please leave this place. So what, why they said like that? Maybe they could see that maybe the pigs, uh, the 2,000 pigs, they were, they died, right, in the water. Then they, they could think that ah, it is the loss, a lot of loss. Ah, Jesus, uh, yeah, so they didn't want yeah, Jesus to stay there more. So it's very like, um, you know, um, they were so, <laughs> Uh, like uh, so selfish or um, they are focusing on the materials only yeah but then they couldn't really see Jesus yeah. but then also this demon possessed man he uh, he asked he wanted to follow Jesus but then di Jesus didn't allow him but then he said that you need to share what great thing God has done to your life um, so God, Jesus gave him another um, uh, like commission to preach the good news, to share, to testi testify what God has done in his life. Yeah. So he was going, yeah, he, he was doing it, yeah, really. Yeah. He really preached, he really testified what Jesus has done for him. Yeah. So that people really believed. They were marveled. Yeah. So this person's life, you know, at first he was so miserable, right? Two, more than 2,000 evil spirits entered a person, and then he was torturing himself. Devil's work is that yeah? he he's always approaching us to kill us, to destroy our lives. So when we look at the people in this world who are suffering, yeah? with many evil spirits or sins, they are really in a heart, is not happy, you know. They are tortured a lot. So this person, he was miserable. But then after Jesus chased away the demon, then this person become uh, so great pre preacher. Yeah. He was testifying what God has done for his life. Yeah. So, when we look at the people in this world, we may also have the same heart, pitiful heart. Yeah. And then we need to know what kind of power and authority we received from God. Yeah. So, we are, uh, we are the children of God, we are the sons of God, daughters of God. Yeah. So, we, can, we have that authority and power uh, in the name of Jesus. So, with the name of Jesus, we can chase away the demons. Yeah. When we believe in, we, when we believe firmly, and then when we command, then the evil spirit will go away. And then we can share the great bright light in this world. So, we, I hope we can do this work in our lives. We can do this mission yeah, to chase our, out the evil things in this world and then restore this beautiful kingdom back in this world. So let us pray together. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. Thank you for your precious word. Father, you gave us this precious authority as the children of God. As Jesus uh, commanded, the devils were afraid and they, were, they asked not to torture them. And they wanted to uh, obey. They, want, they were listening. But uh, the same authority and power we were given uh, in the name of Jesus when we believe. Uh, we thank you for calling us and thank you for giving us this authority. And we want to live uh, using this power and authority and not hiding it. But we want to shine this light in this world so that many evil spirits can be chased away from the people and they can see the bright light in their lives. Father, please use us. Please strengthen us uh, in our life of faith uh, so that through our lives then uh, many beautiful stories can be made. We thank you for this time. Then I pray it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.